So here we have a question that says to solve the system of equations and round to the nearest hundredth. It's typical to use the strategies of solving systems of equations such as substitution or elimination. Since both of these equations are both solved for y, we can do a substitution by taking what y is equal to in one equation and substituting it into the other equation. Um, this simplifies pretty easily because it's already solved for y in both, in both equations. So this will be a common strategy when you have both equations solved for a single variable. So subbing that in, we get x over 4 plus 3 is equal to x squared minus 3. So now we need to solve for x. Well, since we have a quadratic equation, we have an x squared, an x term, and a constant term, let's first solve for 0. So I'm going to subtract x over 4 on both sides, and I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. So both of these terms cancels out, and it gives me 0 is equal to x squared minus x over 4 and then minus 3 and minus 3 goes to minus 6. From here, I like when I'm solving a quadratic equation, I like to clear any fractions. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times x squared is 4x squared. Four, the 4 here and the 4 in the denominator cancels out, leaving that term with just minus x and then 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. Now that we've gotten this quadratic equation uh, cleared of fractions, we can use the quadratic formula, or we could try first to factor, um, but this one's a little bit challenging to factor since a is not equal to 1. So I think it's easiest just to go ahead and, and also it says to round to the nearest hundredth. That gives you an idea that your answer is not going to be in integers, so it's going to be difficult to factor. So if we use the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where this is set up as being 0 is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. We can identify in our problem that a is equal to 4, since that's the coefficient of the x squared term, b is equal to negative 1, because that's the coefficient of the x, and c is equal to negative 24. So subbing that into our quadratic equation, we get x is equal to, we have a negative negative 1, that makes positive 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that would be negative 1 squared, negative 1 squared is positive 1, minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is negative 24, all over 2 times a, which is 4. So now we need to simplify. 1 plus or minus the square root of, we have I'm going to simplify the 4 times the 4. 4 times 4 times 24 is 384, and a negative and a negative makes positive. So that would be 1 plus 384. And then all over 2 times 4 is 8. Continuing to simplify, 1 plus 384 is 385. So that would be 1 plus or minus the square root of 385 over 8. And since we're supposed to round to the nearest hundredth, I want to go ahead and put this in a decimal. So I'll put into my calculator 1 plus the square root of 385, and then divide that by 8. I get that to be 2.5776. And the other option is 1 minus the square root of 385 divided by 8, and I get that to be negative 2.327.
rounding that to the nearest hundredth would be 2.5, the 7 goes up to an 8, or rounding to this 2, the 7 makes that 2 go up negative 2.33. So there we go. We have two answers for this problem for our values of x. So technically, those are just the values of x, that x is equal to 2.58. So when x is equal to 2.58, we can plug that back in to one of our original equations to get our y value. That would be y is equal to 2.58, oops, 58 divided by 4 plus 3, which 2.58 divided by 4 plus 3 is equal to 3.645. Rounding that to the nearest hundredth would be 3.65. So that would be one coordinate of x comma y would be 2.58 and the corresponding y value is 3.65. We can do that with the other point as well with the other answer being um, negative 2.33. We can plug that in. I'll do it over here. Negative 2.33 is equal to, sorry, that's the x value y is equal to negative 2.33 over 4 plus 3. So if we take our negative 2.33 divided by 4 and add 3 is positive 2.4175. Rounding to the nearest tenth is 2.42. So the second um, solution, that's a 5 there, would be negative 2.33 comma positive 2.42. Those would be our two coordinates, our two values of x comma y in each case. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel to see more homework help problems. Thanks for watching.